Take me back to the days when everything used to be nice and sweet. Can we go back to the days when all was in love and unity? Yeah, y'all. You don't know this is your girl, Oge Kimono. I'm a day here upon E Splash and STV. Oh, no, no, sir. So we'll bring you nothing but the best of entertainment straight away. Me love on no bad. You know this. Kaboom. Ja bless. Yeah man, greetings each and everyone. This is Oge Kimono. I is a reggae musician and uh, privileged to be the offspring of the legendary Ras Kimono. Aromba silence. Aromba I've been doing music for well over 15 years, you know, it's it's been a journey because I started off as a backup vocalist with my father and then eventually went to Europe and I lived in Europe for a long time where I worked as a backup vocalist for a couple of reggae artists out there and did a couple of collaborations, you know, worked with um, a German reggae superstar called Uwe Banton where I got the opportunity to do a song with him and Luciano. I also worked with the duo Two Clan, you know, where I got the opportunity to do a song with them and Anthony B and uh, Beanie Man you know so I have been in the in the music business for for a little while now see <laughs> well so far so good um, I, I can't really complain Ja has been faithful It is a tough terrain, you know, when it, especially when it comes to um, the genre of reggae music, you know. Um, we haven't really had a lot of females in this genre. I am happy to be one of the females championing the course of reggae music in Nigeria. The good thing is, I am not doing reggae music because my father is Raskimono. I had a one-on-one -on -one connection with reggae music and that was when I, um, I clicked with it. And so far, even before now, you know, all the things that I have done, my father actually was surprised that I had gone so far in the reggae music scene. And um, right now, you know, um, with him being on the other side in Zion you know it, it, it has left me with um, it has left me with more passion and zeal you know to put the message of reggae music out there because um, I mean it's it's the, the legacy that he has left and um, the fire has to keep burning I have been looking to work with a couple of uh, musicians, you know, that um, have affiliations to reggae music. Uh, um, definitely somebody like Burna Boy is somebody I have been eager to work with for a long time, but for some reason we just can't um, find a link yet to the link up, you know. But definitely that would happen soon. Also, Pato Rankin is also somebody that I, 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 I would love to do a, uh, uh, a song or two with, you know, because um, He's got the vibe. Of course, Two Face, the DBA2, is definitely somebody that uh, chose that path, you know, with his conscious vibes and all of that. So he's definitely somebody that I look to, uh, look forward to working with. I dropped two singles in recent time. They, they have been on an uh, rotation, but the video for Good Old Days hopefully will be dropping pretty soon. I, I like I said, I just got I just got the uh, director's cut, and it, it looks really amazing. I can't wait for everybody to see it, you know. And get feedback <laughs> yes yes um, I, I would say it's, it's in my DNA it's not um, reasons being I did not grow up with my father I grew up with my grandmother until um, I finished secondary school because my father was very very particular about my education and making sure that I got basic education you know even when he saw the traits of music in me or entertainment in me you know he he kind of like um, Pedaled soft to make sure that I got the basic education, which was nursery, primary, and secondary. And then afterwards, I was now allowed to do reggae music or to do music, you know, with him. So, yeah, man, uh, my father's influence and and my career has been a, a very, very um, has been a very, very big one, you know, because um, 
I mean, he, he is definitely my inspiration, you know, I can say, because um, when I do music and I take it to him, you know, I run by him, I ask him, how does this sound? What's the production like? Do you like the production, you know? And um, yeah, he, he, he has, he, he, well, he has and he is. I, I still talk about him in the present because I, I know he's always with me, you know? So um, he he has and has been a very very um, great supporter of my of my work. My advice would be be persistent in whatsoever you do. Don't forget, education is important. It's always good to have. My father would call it a bucketive. <laughs> a bucketive means um, a backup plan. You know, uh, just in case you don't have that much passion to drive you, you know, or that much zeal to drive you through your passion, make sure you have a bucket team. Go to school, you know, be educated, you know, um, diversify yourself, you know, even as a musician, there are other things that you can do outside your music field, you know, so I would say be diligent, trust in the most high, never forget to hold on to God like your whole life depends, well of course your whole life depends on him still, you know, but be diligent in what you do, be consistent, persistent, and this is the key to success. Like my father will always say, he'll say practice makes perfect. Messi, take me back to the days when everything used to be nice and sweet. Can we go back to the days when all was in love and unity? Yeah, y'all, you don't know this is your girl, Oge Kimono. I'm a day here upon E Splash and STV. Oh, no, no, sir, so we'll bring you nothing but the best of entertainment straight away. To follow me on Instagram, Oge Kimono underscore official on Twitter at Jar Time J A H T Y M and on Facebook I simply go by the name Oge Kimono. Me love no bad. You know what this? Kaboom! Ja bless. East Flash TV.